Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so we are going to be taking a look at what is currently taking place across the tropics right now and what is expected in the future. So it is likely that tropical cyclone activity is going to be resuming uh, maybe as we're going to be heading into the early part of August, which is literally just about two weeks or less away. And so uh, before I get into details... Okay, so first things first, let us go ahead and take a look at the Pacific Basin. So we have a tropical storm over there, which is Tropical Storm Estelle. It was a hurricane, but due to dry air intrusion as well as strong upper level winds, we had the system weakening. And so uh, it is currently a tropical storm now with winds of 65 miles per hour, but it had maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. And so this system is well off the coast of the Baja California Peninsula right now. So it is not really a threat to land and it's likely to dissipate as we're going to be heading into the uh, end of this week, go into the early part of next week. But let's go to the main treat of this video, the Atlantic Basin. And so we are seeing right now that things are pretty quiet across the base and we don't have any tropical cyclone activity but there are three tropical waves one in the caribbean one approaching the lesser antilles and one that has just emerged off africa so nothing very major uh really going on at this time for the atlantic basin but as i said earlier it is likely that we will see a resumption in tropical cyclone activity soon and so now let's go ahead and take a look at current conditions starting off with the main inhibiting factor of activity right now the dry air so this is a map of the saharan dust and we're seeing that there is quite an abundance that is out there in the main development region extending to portions of the caribbean and so as we had more more to the oranges and the reds that is when we have a lot more dust that is present and so uh, with all this dry air things are just so hostile for tropical systems to try and develop so the waves are basically struggling uh, as they make their way across the main development region when they emerge off africa so so uh, that's what's going on right now. And this is typical of July. So uh, don't be that person to say that, oh, things are pretty quiet right now. So it's not going to be an active season wrong this is typical of july we typically see the saharan dust peaking around this time where we have a lot of concentration that is out there uh that is preventing any major uh development of tropical cyclones but we had two storms in the month of july it doesn't seem as though we will have any for the rest of the month but that could change as we're going to be heading into next month which is august and as you saw on my thumbnail i highlighted the typical tracks of systems within the month of august and so they typically uh, developed from tropical waves that emerge off Africa. We call these systems Cabo Verde type storms or hurricanes or Cape Verde type and they accelerate towards the west and they might make a curve up to the US or into the Caribbean and then the Gulf of Mexico. So this is usually what we see and we've seen that in previous years. Uh, last year we had Grace in the month of August. In the year before we had Laura which was almost a category 5 hurricane. It was a, a very strong category for that rapid intensified in the Gulf of Mexico. So we will definitely have to be on the lookout for those storms as we're going to be heading into the coming weeks. But as of right now, we have the Saharan dust that is suppressing activity. And later in this video, we will also take a look at something pretty important that I don't think I mentioned at all before in my videos, but it is a major factor that also helps to influence tropical cyclone activity. But moving on to the sea surface temperatures right now, things are pretty warm out there but going closer to the coast of africa we're seeing that things are a little bit on the cooler side but we don't really have a lot of development from that far but we do have uh, systems being marked as disturbances and then they might develop and intensify as they approach the lesser antilles so we will definitely have to be watching those tropical waves that are going to be marching off the coast of Africa as we're going to be heading into the latter part of this month. And something else I want to point out to you guys, the Euro Ensemble tracks are showing something pretty interesting as we're going to be heading to the end of this month on 
well, near the end of the month, I should say, Friday the 29th of July, we have some members here showing maybe something is going to be trying to develop, maybe one of those tropical waves that are expected to emerge off the coast. But let's wait and see what's going to be happening. But as we take a look more to the left side of this map here, we're seeing a lot going on in the Pacific. And so uh, things are pretty active over there because even though we have Estelle right now that is going to be dissipated in the coming days, there is another area that is highlighted. So it's likely that we will see yet another storm uh, develop maybe as we're going to be heading into next week over in the eastern pacific and so all this activity is due to the mjo or the madden julian oscillation so let's go ahead and talk about that now so it is a factor as i mentioned earlier it is a factor that really helps to influence the hurricane seasons and so it is basically this fluctuation in activity when we have uh the convective phase of it as well as the suppressed phase and so the convective Convective phase is where we have more moisture, more rainfall associated with it. Meanwhile, in that dry phase or suppressed phase, as you can think of it from the name, uh, that's when we typically don't see much activity due to drier conditions. And so on this particular map right here, we have the blues. So those cool colors represent that we have more favorable conditions or more conducive conditions to enable tropical cyclone development. Meanwhile, the warmer colors, the yellows, reds, oranges, those indicate that we have a uh, drier or suppressed activity and so this thing here propagates towards the east so all those blues that you're seeing right now dominating most of the pacific is going to be moving to the east heading over into the atlantic basin as they're going to be heading into the month of august as you're seeing for the week one forecast it is going to be a little bit more to the right side of your screen and then even more as they're going to be heading to week two uh, when we're going to be entering the month of august so I would think that maybe uh, the early part of August, maybe in the first or the second week, we will definitely see something try to develop out there. But uh, things are going to be pretty active. Things are going to be getting more and more active as we progress. And so you can think of this current quietness as the calm before the storm because... Uh, when these systems just start developing from these tropical waves and we have... Uh, quite a bit of systems being simultaneously active things are just going to be pretty crazy and this season is already expected to be an above average hurricane season some sources calling for as much as 20 named storms and so far we've had three but don't let that number make you think that oh things are going to be quiet again it's typical of july to be this quiet so uh we can expect to see an increase in the trop in tropical cyclone activity especially as we near the peak of the hurricane season and so guys uh that is really it for for this update video on the tropics so again as they're going to be heading into the late part of this month going to august we could see uh maybe a disturbance or two pop up so even though things are quiet right now if you're in portions of the caribbean the u.s east coast or the gulf coast we're heading towards that time where we definitely have to be keeping our eyes on the tropics at all times so uh please ensure that you've you're making the necessary preparations from now. There are some things that you can do from now uh, to ensure that should in case a tropical cyclone is heading your way, you're not impacted very badly, such as having an evacuation plan or trimming trees where in the event of strong winds, they might cause damage to your property and keeping all your important files and documents in something that is safe, waterproof and reachable. And so that is really it for this update. And I will keep giving you guys the necessary updates as time goes by. And so if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and since i can and of course remember to always be otherwise